right we feel the sound of the drum sometimes it takes about 60 seconds or so to kick in let's see should work hello my loves welcome back to my channel it's your girl the moonless goddess and i am so happy to have you and your amazing ass fucking energy and this time and space with me right now if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel become a part of the moonless crew where all the magic happens okay this is just a really chill space where we read energy and you can always feel free to be yourself you can comment down below whatever you want without feeling judged and remember to always be kind to each other um give this video a big thumbs up right now uh if you enjoy the content and yeah this video will not resonate with everybody so just take what does and leave the rest for somebody else who needs it all right you guys this is just gonna be a message let's get a message for you the collective let's get a message for the collective manifestia number 36 which equals out to nine, okay. Oops, something fell down here. What does this say? Ooh, balanced forces. So, mm-hmm. You are yin yang, dark light, masculine, feminine. You are manifesting your masculine right now, or your feminine, something that just feels like home. Number 31, which equals out to four, which is about home, family, stability yeah home is where the heart is home is where the heart is you have felt like where you are right now doesn't feel like home you want a place that feels like home i feel like that is it it's like longing for a place that doesn't exist maybe you're a star seed um and you just don't feel like you've like i'm busy maybe you're a star seed um, maybe you are, um, well, let's see, what does it say? Woman holding a coin. So this is the queen of pentacles, okay? So you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some kind of indecision. Someone has to make a choice. The queen of pentacles can be a karmic energy, though, okay? So we could have some karmic energy coming in, Okay. Yeah, door of value in reverse, contract in reverse. So there could be some kind of karmic contract that has not been completed, okay? Somebody is needing to learn about, look, the storm warning. Storm warning, karmic energy coming through, okay? Coming in the door, the door to value, okay, you guys? So watch out for this karmic energy. It looks 666, mm yeah completion like i said there's a karmic contract that has not been completed it is coming to completion okay this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with 14 equals out to five lots of change again yin yang but it was in reverse okay this is somebody uh does not balance you out very well let's put it that way they don't balance you out very well um this is a karmic contract. This is somebody you're in a relationship with. And I feel like for some of you, this karmic partner, this karmic contract is coming to an end. You are finally completing whatever this is. Or this could be your person. Take it how it resonates. Yes. The lightning bolt. There is a big fucking tower moment that's about to happen, you guys. I can feel it. With storm warning and the lightning bolt, be careful, okay? Faded meeting. It was in reverse. Be careful, you guys, okay? Because there is. There's a fucking tower moment happening. And I don't know if it's happened yet or if it's about to happen, but I want you guys to be careful, okay? Keep your spidey senses open okay because there is there's something big that's happening let me guys look uh let me know in the comment box down below if you have any idea what this could be about okay don't lose hope you might miss somebody right now don't lose hope okay you're gonna start missing this person after they leave this karmic partner okay they could have ghosted you and look don't lose hope Ugh. Just stay strong. Don't go back to this person, okay? Heal from this heartache. 
heal from this heartache, okay? Transitioning to the spirit world, okay, to the spirit realm. You are, you're, I know. The natural world needs you right now, okay? It needs you. There is, there is, see, there's a powerful energy shift, you guys. There is, there is a tower moment that's happening. This is going to be a very powerful energy shift. You guys, I'm telling you, it's happening. It's coming. Be on the lookout. Y'all guys, be careful. We're going to find out what all this is about. I got to get a couple more decks. Hold on. Oh my goodness. What could this be about, you guys? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out what this is about. What is this about? Tell me, spirit, what is this about? Saturn karma. What goes around comes back around. Somebody is getting their karma, you guys. There is somebody that you have a contract with. And this is very imposing. This is very powerful energy. You can't avoid it. Let's put it that way. You cannot avoid it, okay? It's happening. Oh my God, Lighthouse, beware, beware. Yup, beware. Lighthouse, again, tower. When it comes to love, when it comes to your heart, okay? Uranus, okay? Aquar Aquarian energy, the ruler of enlightenment. Yeah, look, a rebel without a cause. It's time for you to rebel. It's time for you to stand your ground. Okay, you are on a quest. Okay, you could be relocating. Okay, there is a... You're going to be really uh, challenging the status quo right now, okay? Going against the grain, rebelling, saying, fuck it, I'm not like you. You guys, I'm different, okay? Magnet. Yeah, there. you are like a magnet. You are so fucking attractive. Whoever this is, you are a magnet. Somebody is going to be longing for you. Somebody, there are a lot of people that desire you. You have a lot of uh, people that want you, I feel like, for sure. Yeah, there is, there's somebody who wants to communicate with you. There's some communication that's going to be coming in, okay? They're going to be bringing you flowers, okay? They're going to be taking you out on a date. Okay, and this is divine love coming in with the Celtic Knot. There is some divine love that is coming in, you guys. Whatever this karmic partner was, they were a catalyst. They had to get your flame going. This person did. They got your flame going. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, we have Venus, goddess of love. You are, you are the goddess of love, okay? Could be a Libra, could be dealing with a Libra, or something is happening one to two weeks, you guys. Give it. And this is Venus energy. One to two weeks, something is going to be happening in love. You are going to be finding your freaking divine. Yeah, ladybug. Good luck. Wishes are coming true, you guys. Wishes are coming true, you guys. Yes, I love that for you. You are getting out of this karmic contract. And you are about to seek and find divine love love yes abundance but somebody is watching you just know that somebody is hating on you somebody has been looking at pictures of you somebody has been stalking you somebody's gonna be stalking you this karmic partner is gonna be stalking you addiction this could have been somebody that was obsessed with you they are they could be very controlling all right they're obsessed with you and oh, I'm telling you, look again, camera, they are watching you, pictures of you, okay? You could have been, uh, this, th you could have been the runner, or this is the runner, the runner is coming back. They are, look, you're going to be finding out something, and I'm telling you, you're going to be falling in love. You are. You're going to be falling in love. You're going to find out the truth about this karmic partner. You're going to protect yourself. Whoever this is, they are obsessed with you. 
They are obsessed with you. Yep. This is a lot of, a lot of, a lot, oh, this is a lot. Yeah. Again, somebody is looking at your photos. Okay. Separation. They're going to be missing you. Yeah, they are. They're going to be yearning for you, pining for you. This person does. They love you. Okay. There was a lot of passion between the two of you. Okay, there could have been a lot of sexual energy between the two of you. Maybe you feel like that's what a lot of y'all's relationship was about. It was very sexual energy. This person is definitely going to freaking be, like I said, could be stalking you. Harmony in reverse. Yeah, this person made you miserable. This person made you miserable. You did not feel complete. Okay, there is endless possibilities for you. Okay, yeah, the lovers. Okay, there is endless possibilities for you. You're going to be having to make a choice in love. Okay, you are. You're going to have to make a choice in love. All right, because there was something that you were suppressing. There was something you were holding deep down inside. You were suppressing all of this guilt, this shame, feeling like you're not enough. This person made you feel like you weren't enough. They did. They, you know, your inner child just wanted to really like, yeah, they made you feel like you were nothing. Again, not enough. They made you feel like you were nothing. Okay. This person had no morals. And it was just very ordinary. You felt like it was just very boring, very ordinary. You were like, where's the fun? You know what I mean? Let's get some energy. See if we can find out who this person might be. What kind of energies do we have for this person? What kind of energies do we have for this person? Ooh. The fox. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky energy. This is somebody who, uh, yeah, the spider. This is feminine energy. Accepting the dark part. This is somebody who brought out your dark, darkest side. This is definitely a karmic partner. And we have the deer. We have the fourth house. And we have Neptune. Addictions. Illusions. There was a lot. These are mind-altering drugs. Escapes. And there was some kind of drugs that you could have been doing with this person. Something to just feel like you needed to escape. You could have lived with this person, had a family with this person. I feel like you're very um, gentle, very sensitive. You were very intuitive. You were very sensitive. I feel like you could have really let this person, like I said, get the best of you. You didn't feel like you were enough. This person made you feel like you were nothing. Raccoon. Raccoons go in your trash. Okay. They disguise. It's all about secrecy. There is somebody who's going to be literally stalking you. Be careful, you guys. Cat. Be careful. There is somebody very curious. Going through your trash. Okay. It, it, that's just the, that's just the, um, what is it called? Like a metaphor. They're going to be wanting to know more information. Let's put it that way. Tell me about this raccoon energy, spirit. Tell me about this raccoon energy. The world. Yeah, you're completing this karmic cycle. You are completing this karmic cycle. The two of cups. Somebody you were in a relationship with. Okay, so tell me about this uh, unconditional love that's going to be coming in. Who could this be with? We have the wheel of fortune in reverse. You could have unconditional love for this karmic partner. You could really love this karmic partner. You could really love this person. Let's see. Tell me what this lighthouse tower moment is about. What is this about, spirit? Yeah, the seven of swords. Sneaky, deceptive energy. Keep yeah, you are feeling trapped. You are releasing yourself. You are releasing yourself from this sneaky fucking energy. Keep your guard up. Keep your spidey senses open, you guys. Okay, this could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Narcissistic energy, you guys. King of Cups in reverse. 
narcissistic energy. Okay, this person could actually be very dangerous. I want you guys to be careful. I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy at all. Be careful, you guys. I'm going to get some closing out messages. Focus. Yeah, you've got to really pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. This person has literally felt like a burden. And they are. They're fucking addicted to you. This person fucking craves you. They are going to be very hungry. They are fucking going to be looking for their nar their supply. You are just supply to them. They're going to be discarding you very soon. Use your discernment. You have not been using your discernment, you guys. Use your discernment. Guys, be careful. Okay, what goddesses could be with you at this time? There's going to be some goddesses that are protecting you at this time. What goddesses are going to be protecting you at this time? Okay, we have golden opportunity and receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. Ask. Ask for help from your spirit guides, ancestors. Receive this, okay? Important doors are opening up for you right now, okay? Walk through them, okay? Spend time near water, near lakes, rivers, oceans. Um, Recharge your ba batteries right now because this person it was very narcissistic. They took all your energy. My phone's about to die. Take a bath. Take a healing bath. Get near water, you guys. That is what they want you to know right now. Get to water. It's going to help cleanse you. Okay? You have divine knowledge. Okay? You are you are the high priestess. Okay? Just know there is no need to hurry or force anything to happen. And we have Aphrodite. Yes, your inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity, you guys. Okay? Yes, again, water. Water is very important, you guys. I love you guys so much. I want you to really protect yourselves. Let me know in the comment box down below what is this energy about. Okay, I'm very curious of what this energy is about, you guys. Um, I know some of y'all already know. Okay, don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. Okay? You need time alone. You know why. Stay away from these people. Okay? Stay away from these people. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Okay, this person broke your heart fuck them okay whatever you are thinking about right now don't do it now is the fucking time now is not the time okay so whatever you've been thinking about don't do it you guys be careful i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one